Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, so happy Friday, although you probably won't be watching this on a Friday. If you're new to my channel, my name is Yelena and I'm currently attending Empire Beauty School in Minnesota and I do like day in my life vlogs. So if you guys are interested in like attending beauty school, um, I just kind of give you little glimpses of what I do at school. So today, since it's Friday, it's always like pretty fun and my book is usually pretty filled on Fridays. I have my friend coming in that I went to high school with. So she's coming in this morning. I think she's getting like balayage. Um, we did her hair a couple weeks ago and she wants to go a little bit lighter and then I think we're doing a lot of trim so I'm gonna take you guys with me for my day today it should be pretty chill but that I, I would take you guys along and just show you kind of like what I do in my day in the life during beauty school I know some of you guys are really liking those kind of videos so if you do like them give me a thumbs up let me know what else you'd like to see I'm thinking next week I'll do like a week in my life um, and kind of show you like everything that I do and make the videos a little bit longer but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go inside got my coffee which is almost gone already because it takes me 30 minutes to drive to school so it kind of sucks but um bringing my coffee in I have my big jug of water that I bring with me and just a little snack for lunch so yeah let's get today started Show guys my outfit of the day actually someone curled my hair but it's kind of a mess now i have this black like low turtleneck since we have to wear all black um black jeans from target my nikes so yeah and then i got all my stuff from my locker and i'm gonna go get all set up so this is where we clock in with our shampoo bowls Dispense more shampoo bowls and then manic or manicure and pedicures drying station. You think you know me? Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You think I'm slowly cutting my ties with. Foiling board or um, the pilot balayage board, whatever it's called, and some foils. Keep everything covered. All my stuff set up here. So this is my friend who came in. As you can tell, she has really long, beautiful, darker hair. She does have some balayage in it that we did last time. And it was super subtle. That's what she wanted at the time. But this time she wanted to cut off um, a couple inches of her hair. And then she also wanted to go brighter because she was getting more tan since it's summertime. She wanted to go a little lighter. So we talked about doing like some money pieces on the front, which I thought would look beautiful on her. And doing a more, instead of like the caramelly color, doing more... Um, like pearly color and like brighter blonde blonde color but not like super bright so 
I decided to do like more of um, TZ foilage on her because the balayage just takes so long to process and I feel like it didn't lift as well on her hair so I always like to do that on uh, clients with like really dark hair and it also leaves like no harsh lines and really blends really nicely so that's what I'm doing here I'm just so I did mix 20 volume with our matrix lightener I uh, use the 20 volume like whenever I first start the hair but then toward the end whenever I get like closer to being done I usually put 30 volume just so everything processes at the same time it's not always the case for my clients um, that I do this but I know how her hair kind of processes since we've done it before so I like to speed it up by doing 30 volume towards the end so everything just kind of like evenly processes at the same time so they're not sitting there forever and I have to like rinse them out and then you know it's all uneven so that's what I did here you think you know me say I'm as cold hearted as they come you think I'm slowly Just a disclaimer you guys, if you are just thinking about going to beauty school, all these techniques that I'm doing, they don't teach you at beauty school. I learned all this outside of school. It's very important to kind of do your own education outside of school if you are in beauty school because there are things that are very in right now like foilage and you know the very lived in looks right now they don't necessarily teach you in beauty school so you kind of have to learn a lot of the stuff on your own which i have been doing so this kind of stuff like normally they don't show you in beauty school they just show you like basic balayage and basic foiling and all that so a lot of the things that i show in my videos um it's not taught at beauty school so just so you have an idea like and I want to make sure I'm giving you a little disclaimer this is not like what they really teach you this is just like personally what I have learned outside of school and um, you just have to make sure your school is okay with it and you do a good consultation with your client and make sure your educator knows what you're doing so I just wanted to put out that disclaimer out there just in case you're like oh this is what I'm gonna be doing in school not necessarily I know a lot of students don't do this and they don't like teach you that in school so or they don't in my school anyway la, 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 la. Cars. Come ahead, baby, be a bus. Do 
Thank you. Starbucks. All right, you guys. So I finished with my first client who was my friend and I ended up going on lunch and then I was like, okay, I don't have any more clients today. It's Friday, so I'm just gonna leave. So I left. Um, if you guys are in beauty school, 
I don't recommend like I recommend you staying there the whole day but there's just some days where you're just like I'm just not feeling it we had some fashion show for the rest of the day and I just hate um, when I don't have clients because a day just drags and so um, I was like it's Friday I'm gonna go spend time with my kids and my husband works all weekend so I really want to like spend some extra time with him so I decided to leave so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna get some Starbucks and go home um, normally I'm there for a couple more hours but yeah like I said I got done at like it's two o'clock right now and I technically usually leave at four so I'm only missing a couple hours which is not bad but um, so yeah, that's basically my day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like these kind of videos, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.